bicycle? Yeah, well, it's kind of an electric dirt bike. So Blackstone's a pretty interesting street. There's there's always a lot of cops. Those people are driving on a straight up flat. I didn't even bring my backpack, so I don't even have a license. So let's just pray, because now I'm actually kind of worried that I forgot all that stuff. But we got a, we did about 50% battery, which is crazy. All right, so today's video, I'm gonna go a little bit farther than I normally go. We're at 100% battery. I want to show you that I'm resetting both of these. So the trip is trip is zero miles per hour and the miles are zero. So we can get a really good indicator of how far we went, what our top speed was. You're going to see what my type of riding is. And we'll see what our miles are when we come back. This is just going to be us basically going around Fresno. You're probably not going to be able to see this screen, but we're at 67.7 volts. It says 99% battery. We are at 7,500 watts. 400 phase amps and i believe 10 percent on field weakening so just so you have an idea so all right i will put this video together and cut it all up i'll try to put most of the ride in there so you can kind of you know see what it's like if you bought one of these bikes and just wanted to go in traffic go riding hopefully we don't run into any cops and if we do if we do i guess we'll get it on footage right Let's see how the bugs are today because normally I've been putting my visor down a lot lately and I don't have an internal mic for my uh, helmet. I do for Bluetooth for um, like talking on my phone but I don't have an actual one for you guys to hear me from my GoPro. So I know it's uh, not the best audio coming from me especially when I close my visor. You guys can't really hear anything so that's why I don't talk in a lot of my videos. Well, my, my videos, I haven't been talking a lot recently. So we'll see. If any bugs really hit me in the face, then 100% I'm going to be probably closing my visor. And I'll just cut the clips up for you guys so you can enjoy them. I'm only going to talk if anything interesting comes up. There's really nothing uh, I need to talk about. So if anything interesting comes up, I'll talk about it. All right, that's one, one bug so far. I'm assuming this guy is turning the way he is. Oh man, that bug, hit me right in the face. I feel like that's why I got a big ass pimple on my face because a bug hit me the other day and I don't think I realized it for a really long period of time. Can we race this charger? I'll race it. keeping like a steady 40 most people uh, most people on this road do like a uh, 45 like I said we just gotta watch out for cops that's all probably gonna get in the lane that's closest to the bike lane that's probably honestly the best thing you should do if you get one of these bikes and you want to ride in the street you know, when you're worried about cops or something, I would just ride it in the bike, um, close to the bike lane. If you want to stay up with traffic, that's fine. Just stay close to the bike lane. So just in case you see a cop, all you have to do is let off and you can just kind of go in the bike lane or kind of be, you know, on the edge of the bike lane so he can't stay here with traffic. That might be hard to say if you're doing like 60 miles an hour, obviously. The only weird thing about being on this bike is when you're next to like big cars, like especially the one in front of me, it's a big difference i feel so tiny in traffic like really really tiny in traffic every time i normally look around at people too they normally are just staring hella hard at me so i really don't look around me <laughs> too much a lot of people do start conversations so if i really wanted to talk to a lot of people i would just have to turn around and look at people but it just it's kind of it's kind of awkward it's like when you're in a car and you're like right next to someone you don't really want to look over you kind of park a little bit ahead of them or a little bit behind them so you're not like window to window. It kind of feels like that. It says we're at like 92%. Uh, remember, we set our miles. Oh, I see a cop up there. We reset our miles and our max speed. And we will check those at the very end of the video. 
so stay tuned all the way to the end. I don't want to get too close to that cop up there. I don't know where that cop went. That's yeah, something I gotta be uh, be careful with. Cause definitely don't want to be next to him. That's for damn sure. All right, let me turn this off and back on, so we can get an actual reading. So it says we're at eighty-three percent, and I'll give you an update of how far we went so far. We went almost four miles, three point nine six. So that's about four miles. The max speed we did was forty-eight miles per hour. So far, so good. I really want to know where that cop went because I'm trying to be careful. I don't want to get next to him. Oh, I should take that way, but I don't have the I don't have the off-road tires right now. It would have been nice if this guy would uh, know that he's going straight. truck's loud for no reason. He's a gardener and he has a muffler on it. So my goal was originally, I was actually going to turn that street back there that we were stopped at the light, which is west. And now that I saw that my battery is roughly a little bit above 80%, saying uh, 82, 83% right now. You know what? I'm going to try to make it to Blackstone. And then as soon as we hit Blackstone, I'm going to make a U-turn. And we'll head back. The goal is to try to get back and have 20% left on the battery. I wouldn't like to go below that. And if I do go below that, that's fine. But I will probably use my phone app and cut the power. Or actually, I'll probably go on eco mode. And then if I have to, I'll just stay in the bike lane. But you know, there's gonna be a test to me to see how far this bike can kind of go. Just to give me a, give me an idea. Cause one of my buddies lives out here and I want to make it to his house. And from Blackstone, it's probably another three or four miles going up. But I also have to account for that coming back. So you always have to think the farther you go, even if it's just one block extra going farther down past, uh, farther than your house, you just have to make sure that you have to make that up by coming back also. So you have to double the miles everywhere you go. I'm going to put it in eco mode cuz I don't need uh, I don't need all that power right now. Hey, this line is long. All right, real quick. 5.3 miles and we still our top speed is 48 miles per hour and if i turn this off and on because i always have to do this on the egg rider app i don't know why we're at 82 percent which the voltage is 64.3 volts i just have to remember when i the street opens up in the two lanes up here i got to remember that i need to put it back in sports mode so i'm not holding up any uh, traffic uh, something you probably don't know about the way I tune this bike. So eco mode is 4,800 watts and that is actually stock. So just so you know, when I'm in eco mode, that's exactly how the bike came stock. And I want to say I have it down to 300 phase amps. We still have the 10% field weakening. So we probably did lose a little bit of torque because of that but we did gain more top speed, even on the stock setting, which is 4,800 watts. But so far, the bike's doing pretty good. I mean, the good thing is that if you're really in traffic, oh man, stupid tree. If you're, if you're really in traffic, it's not that big of a deal because everyone is going about 40, 45 if it's kind of uh, busy. You might have some people speeding here and there, but I kill my battery when I go to work because I'm not really behind anybody. I think that's what really kills my my battery going to work and going home especially at night because there's really no traffic at night when I go home not on my side of town anyway so I'm just killing my battery a signal would be nice bro I'm really 
trying to save my batteries. I'm not actually going that fast. I really want to make that light. Oh, I don't know if that's going to work though. Nope. I knew I shouldn't even have done it. Oh man. I hope this light really goes off for me now. That's going to suck. being the the first one at a light is really hard for this bike because it doesn't weigh anything it weighs like 100 120 pounds most people are driving on a straight up flat so blackstone's a pretty interesting street there's there's always a lot of cops what i think i'm gonna do i was gonna make a u-turn here and go back but i think i'm gonna go down to the next street which is shaw i think we should be okay the bike is still saying we're at 82%, which I don't know how much I believe. It's probably around 80. If we were probably at 60%, I probably wouldn't be this far. I'd probably just turn right back around only because I don't want to run it too far down because it's almost kind of like the Onyx where, you, where let's say you do like, let's say on the Onyx, you do like, you're down to 20% and you hit the throttle like straight up. That's how you get voltage sag. That's how you get the bike to cut off. The last video I posted, I don't understand why I did that because it said we actually had 40% battery left. That makes no sense to me whatsoever. Maybe if it was 20% or lower, I could totally understand the Onyx bike cutting out on me. So anyway, it's the same thing with this. If I'm probably at 20% and I have my bike turned up to 7,500 watts or something, I have a feeling that it might cut out on me. Let's just hope we don't get caught out here because there are a lot of cops out here. But we're going to get off this street. I think, I don't know if it's this next street. I don't think it's the next one, but the one after that. We're going to try to keep it chill though. Chill, chill, chill. We gotta stay on the throttle for a while unless I get this red light, but if it stays green, we're gonna be on the throttle for a while. And it is getting hot in California. I don't wanna uh I don't wanna be heating up the bike or nothing. That's the last thing I wanna do. I really think this bike, the way they made it, is awesome. Because controller is right in the front. So the controller gets cooled down so quick, the battery is open, and the motor's right at the bottom. cops yet no cops yet I got hit by a bug on my arm yep yep Shaw is gonna be a busy street and what time is it right now uh, 323 all right so let me give you guys an update real quick I'll turn this thing off and turn it back on we are at 76% so I'm feeling super confident with that number. So I, I'm not going to go off of that. I'm going to say the bike's roughly at 70%. I know it says 76 and I did adjust my voltage correctly, but I'm just going to say 70% flat because that makes me feel more safer. And so far we went exactly 7.0 miles and our top speed is still the same, 48. Sometimes I don't really know what to do with a light. You kind of just sit here, you kind of just look at people and you know people are looking at you. Oh, that thing's pretty dope. But there's really not much to do. Feels a little, it feels a little awkward more than a, more than sitting in a car next to someone. And the sun really hits the back of your neck. I feel like I really need something for my neck. Cause that's like always killing me. And it's only probably like 80 right now. As soon as it's like a hundred, when it's a hundred, it's going to be like hot, hot. or so I feel like 
that guy over to try to race me or something. Maybe when I get my 72 volt battery, hell yeah. Then the race is on. He didn't get very far though. He barely just got right in front of me, which I don't understand why he got in the middle lane. He could have just stayed in his own lane. I'm really going to be in traffic now. I got cars in front of me and cars behind me. I'm glad you guys really enjoy these videos of me cruising in traffic. I'll be honest, I don't have, I don't have insurance. I have a regular license, but now that I think about it, I didn't even bring my backpack, so I don't even have a license. So if I got pulled over, that's going to be a very bad video for me. <laughs> well, interesting video for you guys, bad for me. But yeah, I just realized I do not have my wallet because I did not grab it. Right before I was leaving, uh, Amazon came to my house to deliver some packages. So let's just pray because now I'm actually kind of worried that I forgot all that stuff. Maybe just for emergencies, I have a backup license. It, it did expire, but I mean, just in case, I should put it in my... Um, where my battery's at or something. I don't know. I gotta do something about that. Because I keep forgetting it everywhere I go. And I don't want to bring my backpack everywhere if I'm not going nowhere. I probably shouldn't be in this lane. But oh well. Now that I know I don't have my license, I'm debating if I want to get off of Shaw or just risk it for the video. Because normally uh, down here it gets a little, a little more congested with cops because there's a big old police station down here off to the right. Oh, there's a cop right there, see? Gotta be careful. I should text my girl and let her know that I forgot my wallet and see what she says. She probably won't be too happy. I rode all the way to Blackstone and now I'm on Shaw and I don't have my license. Let's, let's see how that goes. Oh, hey, is that a bicycle? Yeah, well, it's kind of an electric dirt bike, but I converted it to uh, street tires and I put pedals on it. So it's kind of like an electric bike, yeah. Pedals. I'm on them. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> the pedals don't do anything though. They're just there for compliance so I can go on like bike paths and bike trails and stay in the bike lane if I want. Hybrid or something? Yeah. I, I modified it so it does 60 miles an hour. <laughs> Before it only did like 40. No license. No, you don't need a license or none, just a regular license. <laughs> okay, man. I need to leave that app open. Just so I know where we're at. We're doing about 40. We're gonna probably bump it up to about 45. So the police station is off to the right hand side. So I gotta be really careful. We'll see. Oh, Ruben Soul said something. Man, I'm getting blown up with a bunch of stuff. Hey, let me hit you back up. I'm recording a video right now in traffic. So the police station is way in that back corner. Uh, you can't really see it. Uh, let's just be careful. Coming up, the way I was going before I made a turn coming back home, the wind was going with me. So actually coming back, yeah, there's more resistance. So I'm actually having to be on the throttle a little bit more. So you got to think about that too for a range. I'm going to try to make this nice. I'm debating if I want to take Shaw all the way down. I probably will. I'm waiting for a longer red light so I can uh, check the battery for you guys and we'll see how far we've went and what our battery percent is showing on the Egg Rider app. And this kit is from Emoto Bros. You can get the kit made from a bunch of different companies that piece them together. Uh, Emoto Bros has been really good about putting out kits and stuff. 
I think they just released. Oh, that's a clean be uh, super right there. They just released, I think, 50 something more units and they sold out within a minute. So people want these things. get in the right lane only because sometimes this light when it's red it gets backed up pretty bad because the turn lane up here so we'll see oh no this car this car is going to go around me thank you wow that car was loud we are doing great this is a way that I normally take home right here, which you guys are probably familiar with. And I think we're doing great on battery life. I'm really curious to see how far we went. Oh, there's a cop right there. You gotta be careful. Oh, there's a cop. Let's hope that cop doesn't come behind me because he is directly right behind me about to turn onto the freeway. But if he sees any suspicion with my car, okay, never mind. Not with my car, my bike. He turned, so we're good. By the way, my girlfriend said, LOL, oh my, for me not having a license. Yep, that's my dumbass fault. So it's nice riding when you're moving feels really nice but as soon as you're stopped i can feel it on my back i do have a black shirt on and a black vest if anyone wants to know the vest i wear it's the same one that sir monster has and i didn't get it really because of him i did like how it looked on his videos and it seemed like the perfect fit for me but there's also two or three other people i've seen in town with them so i've seen them in person and I really liked how they looked and I thought it was just plain and simple protects the front and the back doesn't really protect your arms or nothing but I really liked it I liked how it looked aggressive and everything so I ended up purchasing one myself it's called an Icon Skywalker vest I hope I'm getting that right anyways I got the small to medium and it fits me great I'm 155 pounds I'm about 5'9 and it fits me great oh it's dusty up here oh this guy why is he blowing dirt what the hell I would like if you could figure your stuff out, sir. Woo! Definitely windy right here. I don't even know if you can hear me, it's so windy. Ooh, Amazon. Amazon Prime. Oh yeah. Definitely having my visor up has really got a lot of stuff in my eyes. But I want to be able to talk on my videos, even though it's a little hard to understand me, I get it. I started watching some of my videos on YouTube just to make sure they weren't messed up. And I see how uh, hard it is to hear me on some of these videos, especially on this bike. It's actually easier on the Onyx than talking on this bike. And it's just because this bike has that mid-drive motor noise. Uh, let's go in front of Central. I don't think anyone's over there. I know I told you I was going to get the the battery and everything. I just haven't had a spot to really sit other than where I was just at and I totally forgot to do it for you guys. So my bad on that. Oh, this car had to get over and they're not turning so... Oh, I got enough room. I will go around then. been a little bit more aggressive the closer I got to my house because I know we have the battery I just didn't know what to expect going that far as the farthest I've ever been and turning back around to come home without getting at least a 30 minute charge in I'm really I really want to get better on seeing how far this bike can really go 
what I need to do is have one of my buddies on standby make sure he's home so just in case the bike does die I can you know pay him like 20 bucks or something to come uh pick my ass up and throw the bike in the back so i really don't want to do it on a day that i don't have anybody to call and then i'm really stuck pushing the bike i'd rather just pull off to the street and kind of sit off to the side with the bike until someone gets there to, to pick it up Woo! all right guys well that's the video i appreciate you guys sticking around and when i get home in one second i will show you what we did I am going to cut the video, but I promise that it's the same video. I'm not adding extra miles onto it. It's real miles. That's exactly what we did. So I'll be back in one second. All right. So we're back. I'm in the shade so you guys can see a little bit better. Hopefully. I'm, I'm really hoping because a lot of my videos, these screens are washed out. So I'm going to turn this on. Turn it, turn it off. Turn it back on. And it's saying we're at 51%. And a 58.5 uh, volt. I believe the cutoff is 49 volts. I think that's what I set it to. But I think Emoto Bros in the ASI controller that I have, this thing, I think they have it to cut off at 50. I think 50 volts. But anyway, obviously it's jumping up a little bit because we just stopped. But we got a, we did about 50% battery, which is crazy. If I do, if I do change this to 50 volts instead of the 49 I have it at, this will probably show probably like 48 or something, probably a two or three percent difference. All right, so I reset this before we left. So let's see, we did 15.03 miles. I'm just gonna say 15 miles flat, and our top speed was 56.91 miles per hour. We were keeping up with traffic the whole time. I would say that our average. Our average miles per hour were roughly around 40. I would say maybe a little bit over 40, maybe 40, 43, because we did have to stay up with traffic. There was only maybe two or three times where I really gassed it in traffic, and I think that's when we hit the 56, when we went down that underpass. And then I really got on it going home, which I could have probably saved a little bit of battery. But that's pretty much uh, the ride, guys. Um, the battery uh, did pretty good. It got a lot farther than I thought it would for that percentage. I thought we were going to be down to 30% or so. So, right, guys, that is the video. And if you really want to see what the voltage says on here, check this out. The battery voltage on here says we're at 45%. So, if I did change that cutoff to probably 50 or 51, I don't actually know what the cutoff is in the battery. I have always noticed that this number on the Egg Rider app is different than the display on here. Once you get past like 60%, this starts showing higher than this one. But yeah, that gives you an idea. 45%. And this one's 51. Uh, like and subscribe to the videos. I have a lot more content I want to put out. I'm at least trying to get to 1,000 subs. Hopefully within the next two or three weeks. And keep in mind too, I, am, I do have graduation stuff I need to attend. So I might not have videos every day coming out. And then I'm also going out of town to Vegas. But I will have some good videos coming out when we go to Vegas. I'm supposed to meet up with one of my buddies. And we're going to go ride out there and stuff. So I will see you guys later.